And what did Rhoda do? Oh, it's Peter's angels. <laughs> we pray many things and we don't believe when it happens, right? Not bad. Pray anyway. Anyway, he was in coma. He doesn't, can't, and I was there alone with him. I says, Lord, I don't understand this. But I'm going to pray for his physical healing. I laid my hands on him and began to pray. Now, he came back to consciousness. That scared me to death. <laughs> <laughs> then I realized this one is predestinated. He cannot die before he receives the Lord. I called my wife and I said, Sonny, you come over quickly. Time to preach the gospel to your dad. And I had a feeling she's the one. Timid, small. And I had a whole bunch of saints praying for, for him. And my wife read the morning revival. And the morning revival in Romans about the gospel says, if you cannot weep for the sinners, how will the sinners weep to repent? And this touched her. And I mean, you know, of course, humanly you, you could weep. But she said, it's strange. That word just, just got into her. And she went alone, I, I went back, she went alone in that uh, uh, hospital to see him, and she says, soon as she entered the room, room, she began to weep and weep and weep. It took over the whole place. And then my wife told him, receive the Lord and call on the name of the Lord. And that stubborn man, <laughs> impossible case <laughs> call on the Lord yeah. how do you think I felt after that huh? bummed out <laughs> <laughs> then the mother got saved until yeah. then he died how do you think I feel I'm going to see him again. Yeah. That stubborn old guy. I'm going to tell him then, you were too stubborn. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't lay my hands on your head. <laughs> Just let you go. So I don't know. I gave up, but the triune God never gives up. How many have relatives not saved yet? Raise your hands. How many got a lot of relatives not saved yet? How many do not have any friends, any neighbors, nobody that you know that needs to be saved? <laughs> I'll give you some of my relatives to pray for. <laughs> we are not short of candidates. The earth got billions of people. But that, 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 that thing about the spirit, until she finds it, that has governed me. So I'm praying for my wife's sister, 30 years now, the husband. I'm waiting. I believe they'll be safe. Not because of me, but because of the triune God. Father is waiting, right? Okay, you have the brooding spirit. Okay, let's all say, until she finds it. Come on, let's. Until she finds it. Okay, now put some names two by two and pray about until she finds it. Pray for others right now. Oh, Lord. Lord Jesus.
Am I boring you with this? No. I hope not. Anyway, if you see one that's kind of turned off on school, that's me. I was like that. You, I, people used to preach the gospel to me, and I just told them, if you're going to heaven, you're so dull, and I don't want to go there. I already spent my chances in somewhere else. I hated what religion has done. And I even cursed the Lord's name. But God chose me. Amen. So I, I do have some debt to pay. Huh? But I get happy when somebody gets saved. Don't let me get too excited here. I'll forget my topic. <laughs> and that's good too, huh? Okay, let's turn to Acts chapter 16. The first fruits. Uh, verses 11 to 15. Let's read this together. that as we go the Lord will open up certain one's heart to listen to your words so whether it's a woman at the well or a woman at a prayer place there's chosen ones Lydia seems to be a very marvelous person after she was received the Lord she was baptized as well as her whole household, right? She entreated us, saying, If you have judged me to be faithful to the Lord, come into my house and abide. And she constrained us. It's amazing phenomenon. It's not a phenomenon. <laughs> uh, dynamic salvation. Uh, the closest I have seen this, uh, one time we bunch of brothers went to different campuses where there weren't any churches and uh, just go around and start speaking where 